Hey, White Rick 85 here. Just stopped at uh, Martin's Pantry, Liberty. Picked up a sub and some chips and uh, heading up to the cabin. Uh, so the first trip for the year, I'm actually up here to meet the tree guy and more on that later. But uh, let's jump back in the Jeep and finish the ride. I got about 45 minutes to go and uh, we'll get up there and see what's going on. here at the cabin. Uh, it took a while to get here today. Kind of took it easy with the price of gas and everything. Wasn't speeding up and burning extra gas that I didn't have to. But uh, just got our just got our heater on here. Bane, I think we're used to about 40% of the tank or if they're right, I'm, I'm not sure. They only fill it up to 80% so it'll only be 20%. So I'm not exactly sure how much we burned over the last year but uh, not in bad shape at all and uh, we'll get them up here in the spring to top us off but up the cabin uh still raining slightly so we'll see what it's going to do i'll check the weather and then uh, kind of see where i want to go from there but uh, for now i got to uh, unpack some things uh, check out the cabin see how it's doing then we'll go ahead and see what's going else is going on uh maybe the generator uh, check that out and uh, then get that sub uh, heated up. There's 37 in and 39 out. So definitely get that heater fired up and get it toasty up here. Might have to go ahead and start a fire maybe for later. Uh, for right now, uh, I got all the stuff in the cabin. Got my bunk made up, fresh sheets and everything like that. And uh, right now, you know what time it is, right? Coffee time. Got it up to about 50 degrees and climbing. I got the wood stove going and the other stove, so things are heating up quick. I'll start shutting things down. Don't want to get it too, too bad in here, but uh, it feels good to come into a nice warm cabin, that's for sure. I think that then probably just eat tonight, watch a little bit of TV, have a cigar, and then uh, if it clears this afternoon, then I might take a walk. I got some Lucky Buck, uh, some uh, another mineral block, and uh, I want to grab the pictures and change the batteries in the camera. So that's on the agenda for, for this uh, couple days also. And then, like I said, meet with the tree guy, supposedly noon Just tomorrow. Uh, swapped out batteries in this camera. That's the spy point. And, and you know, spy point, I'm not gonna say anything about it, but it's been reliable for me and that's about all I'll say. Uh, as far as game cameras go, there's a lot of info out there. Uh, and uh, which one you wanna get is, of course, your choice. I've had okay luck with them, a few glitches here or there, but nothing I really couldn't live with. So uh, hopefully fresh set of batteries that I'll get going. And over here is the stump. I got a Lucky Buck, a little mineral block, uh, and uh, like the food block for them. Well, that's one bucket probably out of uh, probably four this year. You know, that's a Energy Plus block picked up at uh, Walmart, five bucks. You know, supposed to provide fat and energy during the winter months. And it's a little chilly, so hopefully they'll find that with this Lucky Buck smell, I can imagine they should. Camera working. I'm not sure of the weather tomorrow morning, so I'm Stop raining now, so I'm taking a little walk around. This section I'm on right now, we want everything down to 15 inches. As you can 
see not much uh, not much in the way of marking now I see a ribbon down there so I'm gonna go take a look at that see what see where he wants to put the landing I think it's up this way but, uh, I don't know you might want to take some more out of here but I'll just have to check to see that uh, they counted them and because I don't see a lot of markings so I guess have it they... on the on the griddle heating up a little bit yeah, keep that there for about five minutes roast beef and cheddar and then go ahead and enjoy this it's always a long day coming up uh, i probably should have stayed an extra day just to make it worthwhile but uh, uh do what i have to do when they get back home and we'll get up again soon that's for sure really looking forward to enjoying this uh really didn't have too much uh, lunch just a snack bar oh uh, this is gonna definitely hit the spot I'm just having a little cigar this evening uh Got another coffee before I hit the uh, the beverages of choice this evening. Got a few different beers with me, some IPAs, uh, but I'm just having about a half a cup with the coffee or with the cigar here. Local thrift shop picked up the the first season of Deadwood that was on, I think, HBO. Uh, hadn't seen any of it before, so I'll uh, go ahead and check this out and see if I like it. And maybe if I do, I'll look for the other seasons. Uh, but uh, Deadwood, yeah, it, it should be interesting. I like the Western, so it uh, should be pretty fun tonight. Uh, check that out now and you know, watch a little bit of TV. Uh, get up for breakfast tomorrow, and then we'll, uh, we'll meet the guy about noon. Uh, I do have some concerns about uh, some of the area over on our other side to make sure that they got enough. I didn't see a lot of trees marked over there. So uh, I'll talk to them about it tomorrow. Just make sure that uh, we are got everything that we wanted to get done and uh, right before they're going to start because it's going to be within uh, a month to two months uh, that they're going to start. So you want to make sure that everything's in place. So Deadwood, cigar, coffee for now, beer for later. And I'll catch you in the AM. How'd you sleep last night? Pretty good? Yeah, it was pretty good in there. I got down to about uh, 58, 59 overnight with, with some covers. That was that was perfect. Wood stove went out and uh, just had a little of the, the gas going, which was nice. So uh, it's breakfast time. I got the coffee done already. I'm drinking some of that. I'm going to fire up some uh, corned beef. Uh, these are this is like slices not the not the corned beef hash now we're just gonna have some eggs and some corned beef and a little tea biscuit and maybe some butter waffles also uh so that'll be breakfast or log guy uh didn't hear from him yesterday so i'm, I'm think everything is he should be showing up here today at noon uh weather as you can see behind me pretty foggy you can see out there a little on the foggy side, but uh, that really doesn't matter for what we want to do. It's supposed to clear a little bit and maybe even partly sunny this afternoon, which would be a nice change. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of days up here recently with a cabin where the, we have not seen the sun. So maybe a little partly sunny this afternoon would be nice. And uh, I could even get out here on the deck for maybe a few minutes. So let's go ahead and, and, and get this breakfast going. It's going to be pretty darn good. I hope you're hungry this morning. Let's go. Looking pretty good. Eggs are running over into the corned beef, but that's all right. We'll take care of that. Well, that was a pretty good breakfast. That canned corned beef, uh, it's okay. Really have it uh, just to test it out, had it as kind of emergency food. And uh, the date was coming up and just wanted to see what the, see what it was like. And I, it was okay for breakfast. Would I have it again? Uh, probably, but uh, yeah, not as good as corned beef hash, that's for sure. But uh, certainly hit the spot and the biscuit and everything. That was good. Good breakfast. Uh, I brought another pin up for the uh, shelf of honor up there in our cafe, honoring vets and of all, all conflicts. Uh, certainly not there yet. This pin right here, uh, this is Operation Desert Storm. Uh, you know, from the early 90s when uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait and again, all the 35 nation coalition was Desert Shield. And then 
uh, Desert Storm at, uh, at one point. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that one up. That one is saluting the Army, but of course all forces involved in that. That one hits home a little bit more for some people, I'm sure, because uh, it wasn't as far back as some of the other ones I have here, Vietnam and uh, World War II. But uh, of course saluting the, the men and women that, that did their did their job over there and did it well. I picked up one of these record rack deer blocks also. I'm going to go ahead and put it out now. It looks like uh, the rain hopefully be done, but it's okay. Uh, a little bit of corn in there. Some of that, uh, there's probably molasses and everything. And minerals, of course. So I'll go ahead and put that out in the field. The lucky buck? Yeah, it brought him in already. Uh, I put that out at, what, 3.30 in the afternoon? And then uh, here we go. Uh, we got some deer in there already that same day or that next morning. So it works pretty good. And uh, they're going to be back to that. And they're going to be hitting that all spring and summer. Uh, that'll be good. Uh, as you can see, it's probably a nice big doe with a couple fawns that made it through the season. And hopefully uh, one of them may be a buck and uh, the doe. I'll pass some of those nutrients on to the fawns that's growing inside her now. Now there it is, uh, right in the middle of our field here. Got some good ideas on what to do for this as far as planting. Uh, I think the best one was to round up it twice and then put some rye in towards the end of our end of the summer, beginning of fall. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't have a I don't have the roundup sprayer that I would need for that, but. Uh, Probably could pick one of those up. See if this record rack brings anything in. If not, I would think the squirrels and crows. Bears, once they're out of hibernation, uh, would be all over that thing. It has a pretty good berry smell to it. It's been uh, in the car there for a couple of days and uh, it smells like I got a, one of those little things on the, on the vent here to make it smell like uh, berries inside. But uh, it's pretty good, so I think they ought to pick that up also. We'll go ahead and head back to the cabin in the fog here. Brought up a little ham radio, a handy talkie. This is the Baofang, uh, but I think it's one of the better ones that, uh, what's that, Radio Oddity did some things to it to make it a little bit better. November Romeo 3 Kilo, that's the uh, repeater in Wellsboro for their club. I was hoping I, I was hoping I was going to make it up on Tuesday because they do a, they call a net where they just get together and exercise the repeater and talk to each other. That's usually, those conversations usually go about the weather and how you're doing and things you're doing, stuff like that, things the club is doing. So I just wanted to see if I could get into it, but uh, it looks like I can get to the repeater. Let's see. Whiskey. Th Radio check into the Wellsboro repeater. If anybody's out there, appreciate it. Come back. And I did hear it uh, kind of sound off uh, when you when you can actually reach the repeater. So it looks like we're in a good spot here. I'll just go ahead and leave it on and see if there's any traffic on it today. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. Sometimes guys just are, want to talk for a couple of minutes and other times you don't hear much. And again, just waiting for the guy. Should be pretty soon. He'll show. And uh, I'm going to go ahead over this way over on the... The other lot and uh, see about where the landing is going to be and look at some of those trees over there. I, I have to make sure that they didn't miss anything over that way. And a little bit right down the front here. This is where we want to take some down. This is right in front of the deck. And of course you can't see anything because of the fog. But uh, we want to take some of these down so we can have a little bit of a, a view out here. A vista view. And, and that will be pretty nice. So out of the field, it just seems like it's getting foggier and foggier though, doesn't it? I'm not sure of my signal strength, but uh, that's why I kind of wanted to get somebody come back at me, see how it was doing up here. I would think being up this high, uh, I should be in pretty good shape. I'll, uh, I'll try. I was just coming down the hall, this is, uh, catch your call, but I did hear a voice. Thanks for the return. This is, uh, Whiskey I'm up on one of the local mountains at my cabin, and I just wanted to see if I could get into your repeater on my handheld. Well, good morning, good morning. Uh, nice to hear your voice. Nice 
nice and clear, and you're doing dandy. Um, I just turned my volume up a little bit there. I, at first, I, I uh, uh, wasn't hearing, hearing you well, but you're sounding great. Um, it was me. I just need to turn the volume up. Um, my name is I live here in Wellsboro, and uh, enjoy your stay at your cabin. Sounds great. Well, thank you very much. This is Tom. I'm not sure exactly where your antenna is, but it sounds like I'm, I'm making a really good contact, and hopefully when the leaves come out, I'll, I'll still be able to make that contact also. I know the area where you are. Um, I've got the where within the borough here and done um, just off Fifth Avenue in Wellsboro. We, are, um, we have uh, a simulcast system here, and um, you'll probably do just fine. Um, hopefully when the leaves come out, um, we are getting a brand new tower. We're going to be on a brand new tower with the county in, um, I'm not sure, in late spring time, I think. And also, we, you right now are on, um, let's see, we have, <clears throat> no, you're not on the one over at Mansfield, there's one in Mansfield on Tower Hill. Enjoy your time here. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is Whiskey I will catch you another time. Thank you very much. Okay, sounds good. Thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm. 7-3. Well, sounds like I got in there really good. I will certainly bring my radio back when uh, when I come up. And I mean, we're only talking very small. It's almost as big as the GoPro. So I'll certainly have it uh, with me when I'm up here a few more times. Yeah, that's the rest of our wood pile. I see a little bit from last year, and I see a little bit from the year before. And a little bit in the back here from stuff that uh, Steve and Mike cut, Chairman and Cook. Now I'm just going to kind of put that all under and recover it, reorganize it. We definitely will need another load for, for this year. I know we're getting logs cut, but uh, cut and split and everything. Yeah, I have gone into it. Gone into all the reasons why we end up buying it. Now, I'll get this re restacked. See how that looks when we're done. Just wrap that up quick. So it's in our it's in our little holder here. And some room for another row or two. And that is one of the things I'd like to do. Is get something a little bit more permanent. But uh, that's probably going to take some time. But So for now... This is it. At least we have, you know, good half a cord there, maybe. Uh, would certainly like to get it up to a full cord. And that'll happen over, over the spring, summer, fall. And uh, we'll get that done. So I'll, I'll cover this up and uh, we'll be in good shape. Brought up the Rock River Arms. This is the tactical entry model. And uh, did a couple modifications on it. Picatinny's, the hand grip. But uh, here I have the through night. TW20 that uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on it. Uh, through Knight did send me this, so just up front, just so you know. But uh, we'll take a we'll take a look on how it goes on right now, and then uh, we'll take a look how it projects at night. We'll come out here and turn the light on, hit set the camera up, and see how it does in the cabin and uh, and outside. And speaking of tree guy, I think he's pulling in the driveway right now, so I'll be right back. I'll just talk to him uh, about the, about 70 more trees, 68 more trees they're going to take out over on this side. So that'll be that'll be pretty nice over there. That'll be very very clear and open over there. Hopefully a lot of underbrush and uh, some thick spots for the deer to congregate in and find some food. So that will be uh, that'll be exciting to see what happens with that Heck, let's get back to this uh, through night and that's the uh, tw20 it's basically a light with a switch for anything really with a picatinny rail on it let's get this out of the box and here it is it's got the on off and or it's got a hold just hold it on and hold it up. or it's got the auto on Pretty bright, and I checked it out at home, at least at home, it was nice and bright. And uh, right here, that's the USB-C charge on that, which is pretty nice. And it does come with a, with another O-ring, 
and another one of those little gasket seals just in case you lose one. And of course the charging wire, but USB-C, everybody has one of those. So looking at some specs on it, uh, it starts out 2,500 lumens and then drops down to 855. Gives you 140 seconds at the at the 2500 lumens and then actually 84 minutes it said down at the 855 distance out to 250 meters well i don't have 250 meters here and uh that's so that's pretty nice impact resistance uh and it says a yeah, meter and a half drop but uh hopefully it won't get dropped and uh, as far as uh, water resistance ipx8 which is which is pretty good and when it's on you can see that little blue light took the cord and wrapped it and on the other side, it just expands and fits right onto your rail. Again, the through night TW20 uh, looks like a good light. And uh, as soon as it gets dark, we'll continue this. Well, here we are in the dark. And uh, at that uh, TW20 from through night, I actually took it off the AR because uh, I've had a couple libations and uh, I don't believe in mixing firearms and, and libations together. So I took the flashlight off just to take a look at uh, at what it does at night here. As you can see, you can't see me. So let's turn this on and see what happens. That's about uh, 60 yards out there, and that is uh, just about perfect. Let's spin, take a look. That's about 80 yards down there or so, 70 yards. And uh, as you can see, quite bright. This is This is one bright light here. And I know if I had to shoot, I certainly could. If you're interested, it's in the description below. But that's up to you. But, uh, I would have liked to take a few shots with it, but uh, kind of pressed for time here a little bit. But, uh, I'll tell you, this is this is bright here. And here I am here, illuminated by the light. And... Uh, uh, again, it, it looks like nice, and as soon as I go home, uh, I'm going to put it back on there, and that's where it's going to reside. So again, the through night TW20. We go in here. I'll turn this light off. As you can see, bright as can be in the room like i said it's going to be going right back on to the ar as soon as i get home i'm going to start dinner a little bit early tonight uh i might be able to get a chance to sit out on the deck with a cigar afterwards so thought that would be nice and gonna head to bed a little earlier tonight than last night so uh didn't have lunch so i figure i'll have an early dinner i got some sirloin tips out there marinated and uh, some green beans and mushrooms thought it was sirloin tips but i guess it's just the sirloin it's quite a bit in there and then the mushrooms and green beans so let's get that all cooked up just about ready things are heating up quick quite a lot of beef there i'm gonna take some home well it was a good dinner uh, i haven't had that before that was just something that i found at a local store down our way that's kind of reminds me of uh Martin's Pantry, except it's uh, probably four or five times bigger than that. Same idea, bulk food, subs, lunch meat, uh, some other things. They have some, some other type foods and things like that. Just out here on the deck, enjoying, it's a little bit of sunshine, some clouds out there, but I, I got my jacket on, I think I'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have a left-handed brewer. This is Black Forest cake beer it's a nitro it's a chocolate uh, cherry stout and um, let's hear that nitro any of that means it has that little almost like guinness has a little ball in there that explodes when you open it up uh not bad it's a dessert beer it's a one-off uh but uh, but not bad uh it's gonna go good with the cigar sit here a little bit relax uh, it's been a good trip. I got the things done. I wanted to get done. Uh, not a lot, but uh, but enough Definitely has some chocolate and cherry notes in there Not 
bed at all. So I'm just going to kick back here. Uh, I'm going to enjoy this beer. i put this down right here. Getting into the low 50s now, so i uh, just sit out here and enjoy for a little bit. Um, go back in and, and watch a little bit more of uh, Deadwood. Uh, I'm not sure on it yet. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, a heck of a lot of whiskey drinking in there. I've never seen so much uh, whiskey getting poured and slammed by so many people and then not end up really on the drunk side. I mean, wow. They were just, it was just guzzling whiskey. So I'm not, I'm not set on it yet, uh, but uh, I'm only, I think I, I watched four episodes, probably watch maybe a couple tonight. Uh, I'm going to turn in early and hit the road tomorrow. Spring trip 2022 is around the corner. Uh, four or five weeks, six weeks, not sure yet. We're still nailing down some dates. So uh, look for that. That'll probably be my next video unless I do get some type of uh, something. Uh, the electric bike, I haven't heard from back from them. Uh, but, you know, sometimes they say, hey, do you want to do a video? You say yes, and you never hear them from them again. That's just the way it goes. I've, I've turned down five or six since uh, the fire pit video, a uh, thermometer or some stylus pen, uh, even a 500 watt uh, portable generator. I, I turned that one down. Uh, I'm hoping for another one, actually a thousand watt. I'm waiting to hear back from them also. So uh, you might might see a video on that or something comes along. If not, uh, look for that spring trip. Our lumbering is just around the corner also. I should get a uh, date on that next week sometime about when it's going to start. Approximately, depending on the weather. If for some reason it snows or whatever, uh, the, of course they can't start. But hopefully uh, they'll get to that. So I'm just going to kick back here. I think I'm going to end up this video. Uh, shut it down here. So this is White Rook 85 here at uh, Camp Go Time. Really, uh, really nice day. Turned out to be started foggy, as you know, and uh, got a little bit nice. We're able to sit on the deck here. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy that. Enjoy the cigar outside and that uh, Black Forest Nitro. Uh, so. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.